It's just not a series of pictures, it's a tribute to each and every veteran. Biographies and photos of hundreds of veterans line this hallway, representing veterans, some who served more than 100 years ago. The Civil War, Spanish American, World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and the Middle East. World War II veteran Arthur Capps is one of the most recent additions to the wall, leaving little room for additional photos. We didn't expect it to get this big this fast, and so we're uh, almost all the way down the hallway. Capps has good timing. Not only did he get a spot on the wall, his photo was also placed next to a familiar face. This is my grandfather here in the, in the uh, Civil War. It helps add to the honor of being portrayed on the veteran's wall. Well, I, I like it that way because, you know, I was so close to him when he was living. And uh, so it's, it's a privilege to see them together. I'm really, really glad to have it that way. The hall is a part of the airport's Veteran Museum. The Veteran Museum's board says the Hall of Honor is growing faster than expected, greatly in part to the enthusiastic visitors. The veterans are very appreciative of what we're doing. The families are appreciative, and we're told that they've never seen anything like this anywhere. Jefferson County residents' pictures fill much of the space, although no veteran is turned away. Given the popularity, board member and airport manager Chris Collins hopes other communities follow their lead. This is very simple and easy to do, and we would try to help anybody do it in their community. Soon, this last frame will be full, but that doesn't mean they're done posting photos. Once the hallway is filled, the memorial will expand onto the walls in the banquet room. In Mount Vernon, Sam Smith, News 3.